Baylor had never beaten a number one team until the Lady Bears upset of UConn and Waco last January. 12 months later, different sight, same result. Number one goes down again, and the longest home court win streak in the country and one of the longest in the history of the sport is done at 98. Baylor with one of the most impressive wins of the season. Taya Cooper was outstanding, and Baylor's defense held UConn to six points in the fourth quarter. Kim Mulkey is with our Holly Rowe. Are you going to pour water on my head right now? What are you doing? I don't know. It just felt good. <laughs> I should be pouring water or Gatorade on your head. You just ended a 98-game home winning court streak. What is that like to come into stores in Hartford and get a win? Not many people do it. Well, that's how good they are. They, they've won how many? 11 national championships. Uh, they have great, great fan support. Um, a lot of us just want to win one national championship, and I'm blessed to coach that group in the green uniform today. Or actually, it was kind of a gray-looking uniform, but uh, we competed hard. We're not a polished product by any means. Cox is still trying to get in the flow. But as you saw, she's such a presence for us. She brings us such confidence even when she's not in tip-top shape. You know, this isn't the team that won the national championship. There's a lot of new pieces to this team. But you are such a good passing team. The assists, the way they're working together this early in the season. How does that make you feel? Well, Holly, I think you can tell Andy Landers, we didn't play any old school basketball back to the basket post. We shot a lot of threes. We cut off of people. I thought Melissa Smith was big for us. She didn't try to do too much. She's just big for us. Cooper, what can you say about her? When you put Dee Dee Richards out there and she can battle on the defensive end of the floor, it brings us confidence as well. Uh, Juicy will be fine. Um, I thought Moon gave us valuable minutes. Queen gave us valuable minutes. Look, you don't overemphasize this game. We will get better. Connecticut will be, get better. Uh, win or lose, I said this before the game. It's just, it's a gauge and it's probably good for women's basketball, good for television, but we're getting ready to take a four hour flight home and prepare for Oklahoma State Sunday. All right, thank you, Coach. Holly, thank you. Thank you. And thanks for not pouring that water on my yeah. head. Thank you. <laughs> Taya Cooper, you showed up in a game against the number one team in the country. I know you've played UConn before when you were in South Carolina, but you have not won. What is this like to walk off this court as a winner tonight? Um, it's a great feeling. Um, we didn't have our best game, but we played a good game. And it was a great team, and it was a fun atmosphere to be in, so I'm proud of my team. You are new at the point guard position. You're learning that role. How do you think you have really commanded this team and commanded this offense? Well, I have a point guard as a coach, so it really wasn't that hard. I mean, she helped me tremendously in um, October and getting the team ready. She knew I had to do it early for times like this, so big shout-out to Kim. UConn would sag off of some of you as shooters. They were daring you to shoot the ball and packing in the paint. How did you take advantage of that and keep hitting those three-point shots? Um, at first, I was um, a little off, so uh, it was working for them. But then we knew our shots was going to fall. We've been practicing it, and she, had, she insisted that me and Juicy shoot the ball this game. So we just knew it was going to fall eventually, and we kept shooting. Okay, Coach said this is a gauge to where your team is. Where do you think they are? Like, percentage-wise, like, out of 100? I think we had like uh, 80. Okay, 80. 75, 80. All right, just knocked off the number one team in the country. Only 75%, so the sky's the limit for you guys, right? Absolutely. All right, thanks, Haya. Thank you. Thanks. Holly, that, that might be a scary thought for the rest of the country considering what we saw tonight. Uh, Baylor was really good. I mean, they're so tough on the defensive end of the floor, but they show that they're a lot more than just their great pieces inside. Nice compliments from their guards on the perimeter, but wow, defensive effort was stellar. 74 to 58, the final score. Another number one team goes down. First loss of the season for UConn as Baylor ends a 98-game home court win streak in Hartford tonight. For Holly Rowe, Rebecca Lobo, and our great crew, Adam Amin saying so long. Ducks and Cats coming up, but first to the studio.